Hi, my name is Margaret and I'm here to talk to you about five things that usually cause stress during your pharmacy call. Number one, number one is memorizing. Now we've all fell a victim of this because, you know, a lot of us tend to leave things last minute and with pharmacy I've realized actually you can't do that. There is so much material in there that you simply cannot memorize it all. So my tip for you guys is to actually aim for understanding. When you understand things, that will make you a better pharmacist. When you understand things, that will put the stress off of you. Number two, number two is losing track. Now, I cannot tell you how many times I've actually lost track of my course. I have ended up missing some practicals. I have nearly missed an exam before. Um, I mean, it's just not good, it's just not good. If you enough. lose track of an exam, you don't get marks for it, okay? And you are gonna retake that year and you're gonna have to pay more money on top of what you or student finance. You do not want that, guys. You don't want that. Number three, now, point number three is actually controversial. A lot of you may not agree with me on this one, but actually is asking for help. Sometimes, you know, there is those topics that's just, you know, they're not in our comfort zone. We've never heard of the drag names before, perhaps. Um, and if you don't attend lectures, you might find that you're struggling a lot. So asking for help is, is essential. Sometimes when you don't feel well and you cannot attend lectures and you realize you've missed a lot of them, it's essential for you to speak to your personal tutors and arrange dates where you can be able to catch up with those lectures and also your lecturers can help you organize mitigating circumstances if you cannot attend your exams in time or if you will need more time during the exam so asking for help is definitely essential during your pharmacy course point number four is actually not studying together now some of you yes Reading alone might have worked out for you during your A-levels. I mean, you got all those A grades and whatever, but actually university is a whole new world. It's a whole new field and you definitely need friends and people to work with. If you've got study buddies, those people are gonna help you to keep track, you're accountable for each other. So that way, you know, you go to the library, do work together and you're able to cover topics in depth so if you assign topics to each other that way it puts your workload down and it also helps you understand things when you teach them to someone else we realize that you know people are able to understand things better if you to teach them to someone else than just you staying at home reading and trying to go through those past papers girl now nah, you need your friends okay you do need your friends definitely Point number five is selective reading. Now, that again is debatable. I mean, you don't know how much information that you need to take on. Sometimes in pharmacy, there is long lectures, nine to five lectures. And sometimes when you're revising for exams, you think, you know, this is not coming up. Why am I reading it? I only need to highlight a few things and go through those. But actually, you need to learn everything. You cannot selective read, guys. You will kick yourself in the head when you go to an exam and the first question is the question that you left out. I mean, that is just stressful, stressful, stressful. So yeah, avoid selective reading as much as you can. And it's also essential to avoid selective reading if you want to be a good pharmacist, guys. If you want to be a good pharmacist, yes, you do need to read about all this cannula stuff and all that stuff that happens in hospital pharmacy, even if you don't want to be a hospital pharmacist. So just knowing as much as you can just puts you in a better position and I've realized in future you will be a better pharmacist and you will be on top of things. Thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you find these five tips informative and useful for you guys. Just let me know how you're getting on with your course and see you later. Bye!